In a world of constant distraction, where nearly every app or feature therein is designed to keep you opening or using it as much as possible, how do we go about truly using technology to our advantage? How can you start to minimize the distractions, use the resources of the modern era better, and finally start really achieving your goals? Here are three essential tips that I recommend if you're just fed up and want to start taking back control of your digital life. It might sound overdramatic, but the adage that the smartphones tend to make people dumber isn't entirely off base, but it's not for the reason that most of the people who would say that quote want to believe. After spending some time studying productivity experts and observing regular people in my life, I kind of believe that the reason that smartphones can make us quote unquote dumber is because we're just not using them right. That might sound too broad strokes to mean anything, so let me elaborate. Starting with my first tip, which is to control your notifications. This is what I would call the number one problem with smartphones today, overall. Every app uh, comes with notifications enabled or demanding that you let them show you notifications before you even know what value that app's gonna bring into your life or whether it's the best app for the job at all. The result is that we're bombarded with notifications constantly for things that don't matter, which increases how many small decisions we have to make during the day. Matthew Dix, author of the book Someday is Today, advocates that in order to preserve our mental energy for the decisions that actually contribute to reaching our goals, it's useful to reduce the number of inconsequential decisions we have to make in a day. The tiny, momentary decisions that constantly bombard us actually eat up a lot more time and mental energy than we realize. And that's not even considering that the mid-sized decisions that we could eliminate just by simplifying our wardrobe or eating a more routine diet. Having to decide whether or not you immediately care that the soundbar you've been eyeing on Amazon had an $8 price reduction, or even not taking the step to disable notifications for Uber Eats, which bothers you at lunch and dinner time every day, is a big way to waste small amounts of time. So let's take control of those notifications, uh, if not eliminate certain apps altogether. I tend to start the extreme way. I took about 15 minutes, and it really didn't take long, to go through my apps one by one on my phone and decide on a precise control for if and how it serves me notifications. And really that's just my messaging apps which have a precise arrangement. Everything else is either on or off. Um, my messaging apps will vibrate with no sound, turn on a temporary banner, and leave a notification on my lock screen. Everything else is completely off, even my email. I'll explain why later because it feeds into tip number three. In the meantime, for tip number two, I'd recommend that you find the best apps for the functions you need to keep your life on track. For example, the calendar, a to-do list, some note-taking, email, things like that. But it doesn't usually work just, try, just to try a bunch of apps on your own and make a short-term decision when you can find someone online who's done that work already and has a setup that you can adopt. They all have considered how certain apps can work together, uh, which to-do app fills the weak spots of which calendar app, which app can amplify how you absorb information from books, which I'll have more on in a couple weeks. But these are examples of things that are enormously beneficial, which you don't need to take the time to try to find for yourself. Lastly, tip number three that I recommend is to control your friction. This is something alluded to by basically every productivity expert I've read or heard of, and that is to decrease the friction or the number of difficulty and steps it takes to do a task for productive things like making notes or sorting through your emails, and the important daily tasks that contribute to the achievement of your goals. And then to increase the friction for opening up TikTok and accidentally scrolling for an hour and a half. For looking at uh, your favorite celebrity's latest Instagram photo as soon as it's posted, I've disabled my email notifications so that I have to seek out when I wanna know what's in my inbox. I don't check that less than once daily and I have a quick look a couple times during the day, but the second something is delivered to me, I don't have to make an immediate decision of whether this needs my attention right now, and it really never does anyway. Email is just one example, but for literally everything, you can turn off notifications, put the app on a secondary home screen or in a folder, some may opt to uninstall the app completely, or install another app which delays the loading of certain apps so you can kind of second guess what you're habitually doing. All those things increase the friction of bad habits. Make the habit of engaging with distraction just harder to do and make the habit of working towards your goal easier. It's hard to start implementing these strategies without facing a FOMO or a fear of missing out. But a good mindset to view these with is the more long-term consideration. Will the moments that this app or service or type of notification provides to me be worthwhile uh, a few minutes, a few days, months, or even years later? If not, it shouldn't be distracting you right now. I hope these tips are useful to you. If you liked the video, please do me a solid and hit like and consider subscribing. In the meantime, here's another video that may be interesting to you.